Philip Colliver. I'm the local sponsor for the Park Bench page here in McGregor. And I'm actually here to introduce you to Adam Goldenberg with Benchmark Mortgage. Um, we just opened up. I'm sure that you've met this guy before if you are a McGregor native. But if not, we're going to learn just a little bit about his business. Um, Adam, how long have y'all been in business as Benchmark? Benchmark's been in existence for over 20 years now. Uh -huh. um, the office here in Waco is brand new. I just opened it this year uh, in March of this year. So mm -hmm. we're a, new in Waco, but with a familiar face in myself and a lot of local connections. Yeah, and if y'all don't know where Benchmark is, it's right over off of Spiegelville Road, right off of 84. Great location, beautiful building. Um, still adding some touches, but it's very comfortable here. Um, what made you, because I know you've been in banking for a while. How, how long have you been in banking? I've been in lending for 18 years. Uh, I started right out of college uh, with First National Bank of Central Texas. Uh -huh. uh, I remember was, you there. I was there for for over 10 years, uh, was a vice president there, and then I moved to Lone Star Ag Credit or Texas Land Bank in yeah. 2011, and I was there up until the beginning of this year, and uh, now I'm with Benchmark, and, and this is... Uh, the place I want to call Whole home for the chapter. rest of my career. Yes. <laughs> well, so what made you choose Benchmark? Well, I mean, what makes Benchmark different? What made you go out on your own that way? Well, the there's three guys at Benchmark that I got to be friends with uh -huh. uh, through my uh, banking career. And I just kind of learned about the Benchmark philosophy, the Benchmark yeah. way. Um, they kind of go further when, when others will stop. They, okay. they say yes. When other lenders will say no, uh, they always try to find a way. And then they've got really one, one thing that did it for me was they have a heart for the veteran. And I'm the same way. I, I have a heart for a veteran, uh, mm -hmm. patriotic. Uh, my family's been that way. Um, so that meant a lot to me. Yeah. Well, speaking of veterans, uh, Benchmark is sponsoring something pretty special. Do you want to tell McGregor about it and kind of what's sure. going on with that? Uh, the, the Patriot Tour is probably one of the biggest veteran uh, focused events in the mm -hmm. United States um, and Benchmark is the presenting sponsor yeah. of the Patriot Tour. They're kicking off uh, actually tonight, October 18th in Oklahoma City and then they've got three other stops in the U.S. over the next I guess about two weeks okay. um, and the key people that are involved with this are going to be Taya Kyle which is Chris Kyle's widow. Yes. Uh, Marcus Luttrell, the lone survivor, Chad Fleming, who is a, a decorated war hero, and he has is an amputee that has gone back into active service. Wow. Post uh, surgery, mm -hmm. post with a, with a prosthetic, and he's he's an amazing guy in himself, uh, and he's also got some association with Benchmark as well. Okay. And then David Goggins, uh, who has also got a very inspirational story and is a marathon runner now. And, and they all, each all have very inspirational st stories to share. Um, and they're really just wanting to share their stories, hoping to give inspiration to others and especially veterans. You know, give those that are suffering from PTSD or depression or just needing, you know, somebody to, to inspire them or support them or boost them up. Yeah. Uh, and that's what they're doing this for, is to go out and and kind of have really what I'd say is a kick-ass event. Yeah. Um, where they get you pumped up and excited and ready to go out and conquer the world. Yeah, because you hear that veterans' um, suicide rate is very high. And so is this something y'all are trying to do and, just to kind of combat ab that? Absolutely. That I mean, if, if, if we could just help lower that suicide rate at all, that would be a win in itself. But if we could just help somebody find hope when they're, when they're desperate, that would yeah. be, any, any progress is a win here. Sounds good. Yeah, well, um, the only other thing that I have to ask is, what um, can you offer as far as loan programs or things like that that maybe you can't find at every other lender? Well, we're a full service mortgage lender. Uh -huh. um, we do VA loans, FHA, USDA, conventional, jumbo. Um, we've got construction to perm. We've got just about any type of loan product mm -hmm. for a home loan you could you could ask for. Okay. Um, I guess some of the things that we do maybe that others don't is 
as soon as you th are thinking about a home, uh -huh. even maybe before you've even gone to see a real estate agent, we're here to get you pre-approved. As wanna... a realtor, please do that, guys. It's a very important part of the process. Pre-approved first. If, if someone thinking about buying a home or building a home or anything related to the home or the mortgage um, would get pre-approved or come in and talk about their home loan strategy with mm -hmm. us, we can we can get ourselves we can get ourselves on the same page. We can give some pointers, some advice for someone that maybe isn't quite ready. Yeah. And for those that are, I mean, that maybe think they aren't, we can say you are ready. You just don't know it. Yeah. Um, and a home is probably ninety nine percent of Americans' largest purchase and their biggest investment. And so. It's not something to take lightly. Mm -hmm. You want to you want to have a, uh, a mortgage professional you trust. You want to have a real estate professional you trust. Mm -hmm. And I think both sides really appreciate having a pre-approved uh, mm -hmm. buyer uh, in any instance. Yes, that's that, from my experience. That's very important. And a lot of realtors. I, I'm not one necessarily. I would prefer, but a lot of realtors won't even work with buyers that aren't pre-approved and don't know their situation. It's, it's highly advised. A um, little bit about your history. You're from McGregor. Tell me some of the things that you love about McGregor and your community. And I did. I grew up in McGregor. Uh, graduated high school in McGregor. Um, my family lived there, still live there. Uh, I still live with a McGregor address. I live in the country, but McGregor <laughs> is still home. Um, what I like about McGregor is the small town feel, mm -hmm. the friendly people. Um, in just the way that the town is. I mean, you can drive down Main Street, there's old buildings that, you know, that have a lot of character. You've got some bustling activity on Highway 84. Yeah. Um, a lot of things are happening, you know, between Waco and McGregor as far as development goes. Mm -hmm. So we're in an area where, and then not to mention SpaceX is bringing lots to McGregor as far as jobs. And mm -hmm. some of those jobs are very high paying jobs. You've got engineers, you've got uh, other uh, highly skilled people that are that are working there at SpaceX, okay. but uh, the school system in McGregor is really a great school system. I graduated there. Um, my all my siblings went there as well. Um, yeah, I think I knew you when you were in high school. Yeah, we were friends all the way back to high school, so, <laughs> so. We, we have a history as well from from our our circles in in those times. So. so. Well, Adam, I appreciate you taking a little bit of time out of your day um, just to talk with everybody here at Park Bench and in McGregor. And um, I'm going to share your website here and your personal information so people can get a hold of you and just kind of figure out where they're at in the mortgage situation and maybe they can be your, some of your new customers here. That'd be great. Thank you for having me. All right. Thank you.